Hi, Phil Tobin from EFI Analytics here. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about a new feature in Tuner Studio MS Ultra that I don't think many people have noticed yet. This new feature was sort of quietly put in the beta a couple of weeks back, but it's kind of slick and I feel worth mentioning. Let's take a look. Okay, here we are in Tuner Studio MS Ultra. This is a view that any Tuner Studio MS Ultra or Mega Log Viewer user will quickly recognize. This has been around for a long while. Nothing new here. I have loaded an SD log captured by my MS3 Pro Evo during an eighth mile pass that I made last week. We can see here a standard line graph view. This view lets you see the data along with selected tables or curve graphs. The tables and curve graphs trace from the log data. I have always found this very useful for reviewing your data log and seeing exactly how the data matches up to where on the tables or curves you were running at any point in the log. It's an invaluable aid for tuning. Then of course, there's always the data log playback, where you can watch a playback of the data as if in real time. Just watch as we see the line graph pass through the run while simultaneously the table telltale follows the data through the run. So we don't just see the output values during the run, but we can see the path through the tables used for input data. This has always been fun to watch and useful. Now for what is new. Even though this is Tuner Studio and we are not connected to my MS3 Pro Evo, we can now do more than just watch the playback in this view. Now you can relive the moment throughout Tuner Studio. Let's see how this works. Let's back this up and start the playback again. Switching back to the gauge cluster with my standard dashboard, we can now watch the run once more on the main dashboard. If we want to see it again, the progress bar below followed us from the log view tab and lets us navigate the log just as in Mega Log Viewer. You can stop the playback and go through record by record or jump to any particular place in the log. Now, if you all remember that checkbox, it said full application. Here's why. Let's go beyond the gauges. Switching to a tune review. Now if we back up and play once again, we get to watch the log data throughout the application. So we can watch from this tuning view as if the engine is running right before us at this moment. On any tuning view or standard dialog, the log data is now viewed as if we are making the pass at this very moment. Not only does this work for playback, but while playback is paused or stopped, you can jump to any point in the log and view the values on the gauges or throughout the table traces. Now a few of you may have noticed a couple of lame duck sort of gauges, like this EGO correction gauge just sitting here at 100, or an active gear always in first. No, I'm not running with EGO correction disabled, or clearly I'm not making the full pass in first gear. These gauges are actually dead because what we have loaded right now is an SD log where I didn't happen to have these fields selected. So. Those fields aren't in the log. We can only display what we have in the log. And that's an important point to remember. You'll want to make sure you log what you want to view on the playback. And to check this out yourself, 
Download the beta at www.efianalytics.com slash tunerstudio slash beta or click the link below. Also of note, the beta is always installed in parallel so it won't mess with your stable version should you need that for anything. And your Tuner Studio registration is shared between both installations so there won't be any need to re-enter this. Well, that is it for now. I hope you find this new feature useful.